Okay, we're in the West African mud turtle enclosure and we all went to work at our shop today and we came home to find babies hatching. Usually every year like clockwork they have babies on the first week of July but we've had a very dry season so they laid late this year. So I am going to try to find one. Oh, holy mother! This is the mother load. One, two, Oh, they're everywhere. Oh, this is so exciting. Three. Four. Five, six. So there's six so far. I will show them to you. This is so exciting. This is my favorite time of year is when all the babies start popping. Ah! I got fire ants all over me. Ouch. hide in the brush because we've had some herons coming in here trying to eat them. And they know to hide. Oh, there's another one. Seven. You gotta be careful where you step too because you don't want to hurt anybody. I purposefully let this overgrow because I want the babies to be able to hide and escape from predators because I do not put netting over the top of them, which one day when we have the money, we will do that. Let's see. Ah, I found where they lay. Okay. So now I'm going to dig their nest. And it's right here. I don't know if you can see in there. That is the hole. And now we shall start digging to see if we can find any more babies popping out. Oh, here we go. So there's the old eggs. More old eggs. I think they all have. Sorry for putting in my breath. I'm all excited. Oh, that one is still hatching. I think that is it. That is it, so. Okay, we just came back from work in the shop, and as you saw, these little guys started hatching. These are the ones that I dug up, and this little guy is coming out of the egg. He looks like a little prehistoric dinosaur. And these are West African mud turtles. So I'm going to put him with the rest that are hatching, and they're going to go in the incubator. And then if you come over here, look at these cute little babies. Hi, darling. This little guy I found in the water, he was in the water. And this one was on land, but he's got a little chip in his shell. Aren't well, at least it's not on his shoulder. Ha! Ah. Maybe he's a chip off the old block. Aren't they adorable? This is the most exciting time of the year, is when all the babies are hatching. I don't even know how many did we get. Sorry. Oops, sorry, darling. Is this your Christmas? Yeah, this is my Christmas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That one's getting ready to come out. That'll be nine. All right, I'm going to go put them in the incubator and check all my other enclosures, and I'll let you know if anything hatches. Either she's just starting to dig or she's covering it back up, but she has totally stopped now that I am here. Check back on it later. So, as we were getting ready to dig up these tortoise eggs this morning, we walked up to the pen and we found a little baby leopard tortoise. So, for those people who think that leopard tortoises can't reproduce here in Florida, naturally, all by themselves, 
there's your evidence right there. Now this guy looks disgusting and ugly right now, but after a little bit of time, some water on him, that little shell right there will become beautiful, just like all the little leopard tortoises that you see at the shows crawling around. So we're gonna put him in here for right now. Now the nest that we're gonna dig is actually over here, but we're gonna start here because it looks like a test run where uh, Mama tortoise was uh, digging up, but it also can be a tortoise coming back to dig up her babies and help them escape because that has been documented on numerous reptile species about how the mom understands her gestation or incubation period of her babies and they will actually come back and dig out the babies or help them come out of the nest that we she experience so that personally with our west african mud turtles every year they uh they come back that's how i know the babies are getting ready to hatch because they come back and they sit on the ground and it's almost like they're guarding the nest and then once they start hatching the mamas go right back into the water it's one of the coolest things ever so I'm just going to pause the video while you're digging, and then if you hit anything, we'll pick back up the film. Well, I'm not going to go crazy here. Well, no, no. They go down like about 18 inches, these girls. Oh, yeah. Well, the thing is, is when you're digging for turtle and tortoise eggs, you want to dig until you kind of hit roots. And if you hit roots, you know that that's a, probably a bad spot. Now, I just hit a soft spot here, which is interesting. Oh. You got eggs? I got, I got something. Oh yeah, I got hatched eggs. Oh, Ellie Mae's watching every bit of this learning. All right, I'm coming over. Yeah, definitely have eggs. Okay, I and see I that. think. And that wasn't even the nest. That that is the baby, possibly. Well, no, that's, that's a, a recently broke one. Oh, okay. that's oh. horrible. Well, nothing goes to waste. We'll feed that to takers. Okay, so. That was the first nest that Aaron dug. And this is from a rescue tortoise that had a crazy, crazy shell. And you can see these are good eggs that we pulled. And those are the two bag of eggs. Usually she only lays about four. This time she got the five. She's growing. No. Um, oh, oh, yeah. But yeah, uh, the two over here, she popped. Well, we'll show you a picture of her. They actually thought she was a sulcata tortoise. And she went to a sulcata rescue. And then she came to us. Now this nest you're about to dig up, she usually lays almost 10. Okay, so I said I would show you Agnes. Agnes, if you zoom over here real quick, you see all these root bases. So roots really can't grow that fast. And you know that once you've hit a good, yeah, tell them, Millie. Once you've hit a good pile of roots, then you know that you're done. Done, yeah. And you can just shove all that back in there. This is Agnes, you can see how crazy her shell is. I mean, that is insane. It looks like that tortoise's spine she, is... She actually looks a lot better since we got her. And yep. she had never laid eggs before. I started giving her cuddle bone. We go through like a five pound box every month with all of our tortoises. And she's just been flourishing in our care. She's a happy girl. We don't normally give a lot of romaine lettuce, but we do once in a while. We actually pick a lot of weeds and use a lot of the fresh fruit that we produce here at the homestead. And uh, well, we're also getting ready to move these guys to a tremendously large enclosure. Yes, I'm so excited. It will be more difficult to find their eggs. Uh, so that is why somebody's home with them all the time, like literally all the time, so that they can uh, Oh, how many, how many eggs did we get? So we got one, two, four, six, eight, yeah. eleven, uh, nine, and then... And a baby! Yeah. Now I gotta go search for more babies. Yep. But we gotta go to the children's hospital, so we gotta go get ready and clean up. All right. Okay, like I said, it's baby turtle season, and we are finding baby turtles hatching like crazy. So I went over to check my box turtles, and we had a baby Florida box turtle hatch out. These guys are a threatened species here in Florida, and I gift them away two at a time every year to responsible keepers who are going to keep these and grow them out and raise them up to preserve the species. Oh my! Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Hello, how's it going? If I kiss him, will he turn into a prince? Oh, I already have my prince. You want me to still kiss him? Oh no, I can't. I'm breastfeeding and what if I do something wrong? Alright, let him go, but not near my turtles. I don't want him eating my baby turtles. 